Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and uh, let's continue playing as the United States in our Hearts of Iron for a Democracy Edition campaign. So, we've been going on in this campaign for quite a while now, and we really should start to finalize this campaign. I really want to beat the Axis, be done with them, and then move on. So, with that being said, I, I play maybe like a week ahead of time. Honestly, not that much. Just to exploit the Germans' lines, because, you know, they have a lot of divisions here. But over here, they got, like, none. I think they're rearranging their lines, kind of like what I'm doing to my own lines right now. Uh, so we're just going to continue. But, I guess I should have kept this open. But I'm just taking a look at how much manpower each country has left. Because last time we talked about it, I maybe overstated how many losses Germany has sustained. But it's like it's not doing anything, especially with them being on total mobilization. Spain's at probably one and a half. Vichy France is at probably 600, maybe 650,000. Switzerland obviously is by itself, surprisingly so somehow. Germany's probably at around five, maybe less than five. And uh, yeah, Italy, Hungary is at half a million. While they're all on scraping the barrel, which is good, there's still so much manpower. And I guess really the ultimate thing that you want to get rid of is their equipment levels, which they, what they had been doing to us, and Turkey's getting attacked again. Okay, then. Yeah, we need more tanks. But that's okay. That's totally okay. Maurice Rose, you're doing a great job. Great, great job. We are trying to advance a little bit, and our tanks are moving down and around to get ready to hopefully exploit some more of the German line. Well, we'll see what happens, definitely. Definitely see what happens. Uh, let's see, the southern thrust is being led by Douglas MacArthur, which is good. He's 75% of the way towards commando, 72% of the way towards engineer. Yeah, just don't be too aggressive. Be aggressive enough, but not too aggressive. Tanks are, are incurring a little bit of a supply penalty. That's to be expected. Um, does anyone, oh, we do have Moscow. That is something to be noted. We do own Moscow, which is kind of... Kind of nice. And that's right here. So Moscow is ours. We reclaimed it last time, and I didn't really bring it to attention. But we did that anyways. So that's very, very good. Let's see. Oh my goodness. You know what, tanks? Don't be too crazy, but just go ahead. Uh, you guys, be careful. Go ahead as well. Because there's really... The Germans keep moving their divisions around, so it's nearly impossible for me... Just to, you know, say, hey, I'm going to make an encirclement in this little area. Uh, munitions plant, that's fine, whatever. Just, it's, it's a little difficult to do encirclements when the AI decides to keep moving themselves around. Which is honestly a little annoying, but, you know, whatever. Let's go do that. Build some more air bases here. Definitely build some in Finland. Or what will become Greater Finland, probably. Awesome. And I just love how much they're attacking me down here, even though I'm not even trying to advance. I mean, just the, the number of attacks and the repeated failures of those attacks. It's just kind of mind-boggling. It's mostly made up of soldiers not from Germany. Just mostly Axis members that are not German. Go figure. As we continue to force our way across what was, at one point, Russia. And since... Defeating the Axis will be the last thing we do in this campaign. I don't mind liberating a ton of different smaller states. So that the power isn't concentrated into one single nation here in Europe. Eastern Europe. Oh, that's a lot of factories. War bonds, war propaganda, probably not needed. Statehood, research speed, special measures. Let's do that. Um, I really don't need any of this. Except rubber. It's probably promoted, whatever. War plan black. Super heavy SP anti air. War plan gray, whatever. Uh, how much political power? We get 0.38. I could get rid of point. Eh, we got enough. I don't really mind if we eh, do some nation building in Korea. Let's see. Oh, nice. Let's let time go on just by a little bit. And do that. And I did say. I would give the Chinese maybe a little bit more territory. So I'll mark that state and we'll transfer this over. This way they feel like I'm supporting them and they feel good about themselves. And now China has been stronger and I've lost like 
a factory. So, no big deal. Oh my god, that's so many, so much manpower on recruitable, on volunteer only. Holy crap, that's a ton of manpower. That's 2% from forced conscription. Oh my goodness. That's insane. All they get is 2% extra population, recruitable population. Jesus, I'd hate to go to war with China in this in like our time. Just so many hundreds of millions of soldiers. It's absolutely nuts. Uh, you guys, I know you're taking over a river and all. But something tells me, with the sheer numbers that you got that you guys have, you'll probably be okay. Just keep going until we run out of equipment. Probably. The tanks, how are they doing? <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, oh, screw it, go ham. I need the tanks to go a little crazy. Uh, are the tanks doing anything? Pretty typical. Go right ahead, tanks, come on. Come on, make my day. There you go. There you go. Oh, we're getting close to Romania. Awesome. Awesome. Yes, very good. And a couple more losses for the enemy. Very good. And we have 74. Cool. So, since we're kind of leaving out or just letting the our AI manage attacks and you know, territorial gains from the Germans we're gonna go ahead and separate you guys off and do some convoy yeah that's good and actually since we have 24 here I'm gonna put you over here do that combine once they're of course done engaging some some ships in the Norwegian Sea uh, whatever about the technology thing right now. Just combine. There you go. That'll be good. That'll be enough uh, things for them. All right. I think we're completely done. Like I said last time, so no point even coming back, coming really back to the screen. Maybe except unless they need more supplies. Uh, Japan, you look like you lost a lot of your soldiers. They have 11 out of 10 infrastructure. That's pretty good. Malawi, I. Doubt I'll really be able to build anything up here. But you never know. Japan, why are you retreating? You look like you really are retreating. That's not good. Huh. Now that's interesting. Oh, Japan, you are over here. Maybe you're doing more things over here than anywhere else, perhaps? Maybe, maybe not. Need some more supplies, perhaps? Maybe not. Maybe so. Very good. Oh, regardless, though. And over here... Another carrier, huh? Reserve Fleet 12. Uh, I'm just gonna take out a few of these ships. It's good enough. And we'll add this group to. Uh, crap! I don't know where to send them. Send them here. You got nine. Does anyone ha not have a carrier or anything? That's two. That's one. Ah, we add them here. Combine, because I don't want to have 11 out of 10. That'll re hurt the total number of, or the traits used for that. Use, yeah. So you get, if you have over the specified number, you get less of a bonus when you do stuff like that. All right, well, we are doing pretty darn well. But it just, you know, it's a little laggy. The Germans aren't, like, completely stupid. But we're going to tell Douglas MacArthur to ramp it up a little bit. Or at least tell these guys. Come on. Oh my goodness. Well, maybe not. Go ahead and realign yourselves. Uh, Y'all come up here. That'd be good. Spread yourselves out a little bit more. And just kind of reinforce whatever you have. Let's see. Oh my gosh. It's just like there's no one there. Please do something, guys. Please! Absolutely confounded as to why the AI just refuses to go in there. Uh, oh, we got divisions coming in by. These are my coastal divisions that are... Oh my goodness. Do that, because these guys are going up and around. That's a little insane, not going to lie. Oh, I'm going to lose some convoys here. I'm totally going to lose some convoys. Oh, they are... The Germans are trying to strike back at us a little bit. But could be worse, could be worse. Let's see, let's get back to our tanks. So right now, we have almost 
a surplus. We're still in a deficit, but almost a surplus. Let's go ahead and do this one more time. We'll do it one more, once more after this later. Very good. Go ahead and go in. Go ahead and stop your assaults. Go ahead and help them out. That'd be good. Tanks are doing all right. Kruger, level 7, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Oh, we are so close to Romania. But they are really trying hard to get it, get us out of here. Oh my goodness, they're going to try to break a hole in the line. Stop them from moving if you can, for now. Alright, not bad, not bad. Get them in there, get them in there. Definitely try to get them in there. Oh my gosh. Come on, guys. Come on now. The tanks are really doing, I think, a pretty good job. Uh, Y'all come this way since we've got people taking this, these guys out. That's a lot of divisions around here. Holy crap. And then more of this crap. Now oh, we're done with that. Alright, cool. Come on now. Oh my gosh, now. Holy frickin' crap. I mean, this is just nuts. I mean, we're kind of losing down here in this front. A little bit. Not not very much. But everywhere else, it's just like... There's like random pockets of holes along the enemy line. Makes no sense. Makes absolutely no sense. I mean, the Germans are keeping me on my toes, basically, by doing this. Like, I don't know where the concentration of German forces are, or where I can exploit a hole, or where the line is weak. So, I mean, I guess kudos to the AI for, like, trying to phase me out, or, you know, try to keep me guessing at where they'll be next. Even though, Germans really don't like holding their own line. Uh, oh, God. Let's get down here. This makes no sense. I guess, alright, well, just Take Kursk. I, maybe there'll be a tank battle down here someday, but today is not that day. Uh, take half of you guys. Come over here. You guys, since that tile's busy, y'all come up here. Y'all come up here. Not bad, not bad. I mean, Germany has lost 20 million, so they've literally lost a good quarter of their entire population. But, you know, that's just me. I'm not German. Well, not really. I'm a quarter, but, you know, whatever. Uh... A single division? Yes, 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 yes. That, that sounds very good. Add, add two more. Finland, the Finland army up here in Finland is pretty stretched thin. I want to d break across their lines coming down through here. But I doubt we can. I mean, there's a ton of... A massive concentration of forces over here. Uh, uh, we, gotta, we gotta reorganize our tank army here. So, I want you guys all to come here. And I want you to spearhead... Don't go anywhere else, just spear at something like that. All of them do that. Come down here. I don't care about attrition, we can make it up. We got the biggest industry in the world with almost 1,300 factories. No problem whatsoever. And actually, since no one's here, just... Can you come down there, for, please? Oh, now someone's there. But whatever. And how is this going? Eh, the attacks aren't... Keeping up, maybe the AI is learning to maybe not attack so hard, but you know, if you have like 75 divisions down here, that's a lot of divisions. Ah, uh, advanced equipment conversion too, very cool. Very, very cool. Oh, come on now. Nice, we took that little spot. Can you take this group out? Add two divisions from there. Um, that is, oh, that's a lot of divisions, ooh. They might need a little bit of help. Oh, we did take Kursk, so let's build up some infrastructure. That might help. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Uh, let's see. Oh, we are out of modern tanks. Holy cow. Hmm. But we do have a good number of stockpile of medium tanks, so that's pretty good. Come on now. Oh my goodness. I hate manually trying to have to do this. Ugh. Because the Germans just won't guard their line. I mean, don't you... Aren't you taught that in, like... Infantry school, or, you know, general school, or officer school. Like, bruh. Watch, make sure there's no holes in your line. Like, for real, man, this makes no sense. That's what, oh my gosh! 
Uh, I, I don't want to just keep pushing because there's areas where you don't want to push. Definitely don't want to push, but there's areas where you just have to push. Push, 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 push. Uh, if we could do that, keep them busy here. I need this tank division to come down there and help out in Sumi. Because all you can really do is take out another single division here. Once they're taken out, hopefully we can encircle that one division. It's not very much, but yeah, the Germans... The AI is really wonky. I might not want to be on the opposite side of the Germans. Excuse me, in the next playthrough. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, look, and we made... Eh, that's more than one division. That's five divisions trapped. That's pretty good. I mean, even though I'm sure the Germans are still making more and more divisions all the time. Alright, so with that in mind, we did something there. If I can help uh, exploit up here, I don't know. Luden, oh, it's Ludendorff up, up there. Down here could really use some help. I want you to just like do that. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna try this. I've never used a spearhead. The according to compared to the offensive line, though. <clears throat> excuse me. They try to aggressively try to take all provinces as they were there when the order was first painted without adjusting to changes. Prefer spearheads when you need to do overlapping encirclements, cutting off the enemy, or for more controlled smaller thrusts into enemy territory. Hmm. We'll try it. Oh, excuse me. And I also see, Douglas MacArthur, you need to readjust your line once again because we've been too successful. Come on, Germany. How many men do we have to kill? Now, these are... These are... Casualties, not fatalities. These aren't deaths, I suppose. I guess we've inflicted 20 and a half million casualties on the Germans, but that's not, of course, like I said, uh, fatalities. All right, so what I don't like about spearheads, I want them, well, I guess technically they're doing what they're told to. I want them to just like go to the single tile I told them to go to, like overlapped, so we can make a good little encirclement. So just tell the tanks to do whatever. Uh, Eisenhower's doing well. Tell you guys to do okay. Be careful. Just be careful. Since we, at this point, just need a general push. Oh, screw it. Just, just go ham. Just go nuts. I mean, the German line, German morale has to be dying. I mean, it's, I mean there's no way you have 100% war support. I mean, look at all the casualties you have. Wouldn't people be mortified at the number of men missing their limbs or something? Or, you know, something like that? Or the, the number of bodies, the number of coffins coming back, and the number of letters... Pretty much every family probably has at this point saying, oh, your son was injured in the war. Your son or father or, you know, brother or uncle was killed in the war. Uh, I mean, I guess this game isn't really suited for prolonged war. I mean, it is 1951, but still. Still. I mean, at this point, this is really the only thing I can really do. Uh, build a munitions plant in Alaska? Well, I don't remember the last time anyone asked to do anything in Alaska. Maybe except for, you know, tour there. Uh, Japan is doing okay still over here. That's fine with me. Just keep... Oh! You can actually build up the infrastructure here. That actually will come in handy. Can't do anything up there. Maybe build up a couple planes, perhaps? As we just... We really don't do anything down here. 30! 40 divisions down here! Jesus Christ! My gosh! That's insane. Maurice Rose, I'm surprised you're only level 6. And we've taken actually a lot of territory this episode. We were like on a, like, a little curve around here. But we've definitely pushed pretty hard into the enemy territory. Of course, not without casualties, of course. Lower this down a little bit. And stop the order. I want my guys to repair, reheal, and all that good stuff. So, come down. Oh, we've met we made it to Romania. Awesome. Come down here. Oh wait. I only have one selected. I want to select all of them. Come down over here. Spread yourself out a little bit more thinly. And we'll do that. I don't want to lose too many tanks. Infantry, you know, whatever. We got tens of millions of manpower left. So not too worried about that. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Not bad. You wouldn't think that the Germans would be getting beat in the East by Americans. You'd never think that. But that's a story the Jedi wouldn't tell you. Regardless. Oh, God, no. We're not going to start with that stuff. No. <laughs> not today. Maybe today. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, you guys ramp it up a little bit, maybe. 
I mean, what are the German equipment levels? How many factories? I'm sure the Germans have like 700 factories. Yep. Around 600 to 700 military factories, 200 or so dockyards, and about 200 or maybe less civilian factories. So that makes sense. They can keep up their production of which they lose their losses. They lose a lot of equipment. How much political power do we get? 0.17. We are boosting ideology still in Iran. Well, we can probably stop that. We don't really... 52% oh, isn't bad. Not bad. Uh, anything else that's helping them become more diplomatic? Or de de democratic, not diplomatic. Democratic. Uh, I kind of like this. Maybe I could have a coup in there, but... Mm, we'll see what happens. Maybe they'll want to join eventually. Maybe. Oh my god, that's a lot of guys. Uh, go ahead and stop. Go ahead and... There's not a lot of winning here, so we're going to stop that for now. The tanks are still moving around the cabin, which is fine. But if we can capitulate one of these minor nations, this will help all of the fronts. Could I take four divisions and attack this way? With maybe... Okay, I didn't even need the boost. These guys were just ready to die anyways. Wow, how defeated are your, your guys? If I can just move four divisions... That are only 7-2 strength. You know, 20 combat width. Pretty standard with a lot of support equipment. To move in there. Jesus Christ, guys, guys. You're nuts. You're absolutely nuts. Oh, well, we sunk 16 Spanish convoys. Two more Avicii French convoys. I mean, we are on the border with Romania. We are losing our border, though, which isn't good. But, you know, whatever. Uh, can you send these guys over here? Can you send these guys over here? Send half of the infantry down here. And then send the tanks up to here. We had taken quite a few losses from the tanks, though. Oh my goodness, that's not good. That's a lot of Finnish divisions. Holy crap, 53? Jesus. Hmm. I mean, overall, we are doing very well. We really are. I can't really complain about this too much. But I probably will anyways. Actually, you know what? Let's. We've been readjusting Douglas MacArthur's line a whole bunch. I think it's time to readjust the White Eisenhower, because... The Nordic countries will require a little bit more finesse, I think. Just because we will get cut off when we take out Ludendorff, formerly Leningrad. So, Go ahead and realign yourselves. It's going to take a while since it's pretty laggy. Uh, I would like to use a nuke, though. Where are my planes? Where's my uh, strategic bombers? You guys come down here so you can get over there a little more quickly. You guys come over here do the same. Is this it? Strategic bombers. Oh, they're doing stuff in the Ukraine. You come over here and do Eastern Balkans. Hmm. That's good. That's really good. All right. So you have a large concentration of forces over here. I want. I definitely will probably use my tanks to push these guys out. And then move my tanks out of here because the supply situation is pretty darn crappy here. Help them out. So, oh, whoa, okay. You know, there's a lot of guys there. Can I improve the infrastructure? Yes, I can. Modern rubber processing. Very cool. I never thought that it would be this hard to push into Eastern Europe. But that's just me. Very cool. Very, very cool. Douglas MacArthur, you're doing all right. Having a good time. Eisenhower is still relocating a lot of his soldiers. Lappy infrastructure. Does anyone need better infrastructure? Maybe. Oh, definitely over here, since we'll be fighting in that area for a while. Maybe down here, as well as over here. All right. Who dares wins? Very cool. Anything else? Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of German destroyers. Nice. Some more German convoys sunk. It's always rewarding. And y'all. 60 divisions. Holy freaking crap. Can y'all come down here? I want to take out Odessa. I want the river as a good defensive position. That's what I really want. And they just continually attack. I mean, Jesus Christ, guys. Almost 40 million casualties. I mean, the Germans are not going to let up. Or their Axis allies. They just refuse to give up. Alright, not bad. You, Dwight Eisenhower, it looks like you have a pretty good chance of winning. So I'll let you go ahead. Douglas MacArthur, you actually have a pretty good chance of winning as well. Uh, go ahead. I would love to see the German equipment levels. Actually, you know what? After this episode, I will double check to see what or how much equipment the Germans have left. Because I can't imagine them having a bunch. I mean, their allies obviously don't, as said by this graph. 
but oh, they're still attacking. Jesus. My gosh. I mean, at some point, you gotta realize your soldiers might mutiny if you just keep killing them off. Could we win here? Maybe. Maybe not. Felix Steiner is defending. We might win. Oh, 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 numbers are going up. I like that. We can't build anything over here, which isn't very good. Yes, we might just win this battle. Yep, it's pretty much confirmed. Just like Borderlands 3. Oh my gosh, look how many divisions. 70 some divisions. Oh my goodness. Just hold on to that line as best you can. Oh, we lost it. Okay, never mind then. I mean, the casualties are insane. Jesus. F they've passed 40 million casualties. I mean, my gosh. And they're just attacking over River with so many divisions while suffering a ton of attrition. I mean, I feel bad for the, the average German soldier. They're probably like, can this war be over yet? Please? Oh, we're doing well in Finland. Look at that. We've almost split Finland in, into parts. Awesome. Let's see. Oh, we have an extra tank division. That's probably going to get sunk if I send them over to Europe. Uh, you know what? Whatever. I don't. At this point, I really don't care. Ten tank, ten tank divisions is probably more than you'll ever need. Oh my! What's going? Did you see that? Something was happening down here. Something was going on. Hmm. Convoy raiding. Uh, do over here as well. That might be pretty good to do. I mean, we have a pretty good border with the Romanians now. Oh, oh no. I want all of you guys just take out Odessa. That's a good defensive position. They got forts, level 5 forts. It's a port. Uh, I can build infrastructure in here if we can actually win. Overall, it's a really good place to take. And that will set us up for a very good invasion of Romania. But I'm not probably going to attack across the river since I have so many divisions. I'll probably just try to go around the main river here. I have no idea what that river is called, but I'm going to call it the Romanian River. Probably. Probably. Uh, what happened over here? Six more divisions of convoys. Oh, look, we split up uh, Finland. Awesome. So we can continue pushing these guys further east, southeast, while these guys push further north. That would be great, great, great. Oh, build up Lappy. Yeah, we we'll definitely need that. Uh, probably not this place too much. Uh, build it up anyway, since we have time. And, you know what, just in case, build a port here. Don't really need to build that up, but whatever. We'll do it anyways. Very cool. Oh, wait, we can... <gasps> Sweet. What? Sweden? I thought this would be Iran. Um, Actually, that would really help us since this border here with Norway is so tight through the mountains. Having Sweden join the fight might actually be a good thing. So, And if they get taken out, whatever. I really thought that was going to be Iran since we've been boosting their, you know, our ideology up there for a while. But, uh, alright. Whatever. Hmm. Coffee tastes pretty good. Alright, so we took Odessa. That's good. And we have 11 tank divisions. Uh, come around here. They just help us push these freaking Axis members out. Or at least help defend against potential Axis members. Oh, uh, come on. I want to make it to... Well, we've made it to... Romania. Which is good. I want to make it to Hungary, though. That's where I really want to meet, meet everyone else at. Mm. And there goes the coffee. Oof. I drink too much coffee, probably. That's okay. That's totally okay. All right. Eisenhower, you're doing a pretty good job. I don't want to tell you to go kill yourself. That would be terrible to say. But, oh, we meet up with the Swedes. Hello, Sweden. I hope you're not going to get destroyed by the enemy. Oh, and you might have naval superiority in the Baltic Sea here? Maybe? I doubt it. Maybe? Ah, very good. And just help push these guys out. Oh, you did it, but I want to make sure that we hold this land. Hold the area. Because they're still attacking all across here like absolute madmen. What did I just say? Italians, you don't belong in Eastern Europe. Well, let's take a quick look at this. I want to capitulate enemy countries. Because that, that'll just like be a domino effect for us killing everyone else. Uh Wow. Just, there's so many divisions. Jesus, no wonder the game's so laggy. Oh, terrible. 
Holy smokeronies. I mean, we have pushed very hard in this episode. I mean, we're not winning every battle, which is fine. But my goodness. This is insane. Can you become a skilled staffer so we can get uh, expert delegators so we can make this guy help you hold a couple more uh, armies around here? Come on, keep holding, keep holding. Hold that, hold that. Better oil. Oh, we can do that as well. Might as well. Yeah, next campaign definitely won't last this long. Come on, get some armor in there. We don't want the Italians or Romanians to come over here. Oh, yeah. Let them kill themselves on our armor. Armor is just mm, beautiful. Very good. We are wrapping this up very nicely. Uh, ooh, we got this area too. Come around here. Just go ahead and take all that. Nice. Very nice. Take that. And then you just take this. That'll be good. And then we can help take out Jim and Reich down here. Take out, finish off Finland. Uh, Eisenhower. You know what, Eisenhower? I'm not. I don't. I'm not going to tell you this many times, but just go nuts. Are you going nuts? No, you're not. God dang it. Hmm. All right. When I say nuts, Dwight Eisenhower, Dwight Eisenhower, I mean like run as a Republican for the presidential uh seat in the next couple years. So that's how nuts I want you to go. There you go. Become the next president and win the battles. You won't become president if you don't win any battles. So that'll be great. <laughs> Open up a western front. No, no, no. More like have the Americans come through the eastern front for the Germans and uh, surprise them there. That's how I like my uh, Americans. Uh, don't, don't, don't go crazy now. Be a little careful. I don't want, you know, call too many of your parents and tell them, oh, you're dead. <laughs> That'd be terrible. Oh, no. No, no, no. Alright, anyways. They have a lot of land forts around here. Not a lot of strong land forts, but land forts regardless. Do that. Do some radar. We could probably use that as well. And probably a couple of air bases. Ooh, Minsk already has pretty good air bases. Uh, do that as well. Keep pushing, and then we'll end the episode very, very soon. I mean, we have a pretty good line against Romania. I mean, they're attacking like absolute mad lads, but... You know? Some things you just can't help. Could I push into a place like this? Maybe. I mean, we have tanks here, and these guys are suffering from attrition anyways. I wanted them to go somewhere else. But, you know what? The show must go on. If you're going to push across the river, you better use armor. And if we can do this, we could probably capitulate Romania by the end of the next episode. Maybe even get around to Istanbul and start shoring up a lot of the Balkans. And we've broken across the river. Jesus. I love armor. I love democracy. I love it all. Oh, so good. Let's take all but, like, you and attack this way. Stop them from attacking me over the river, which is actually a pretty good idea. They just instantly capitulate. I don't understand the mechanics of why they instantly capitulate. I mean, it looks like they have some organization. At least some of these divisions do. Some of the divisions do not. But and they, they're not, like, completely dead. They're not, like, out of completely out of complete strength, but, you know. Can we try this again? You know, just, just everyone come down here. I mean, maybe not. Maybe that's a little bit too much. That's fine. That's fine with me. Uh, we could probably recuperate some of the strength. We do have infantry over here, which is good. Oh, man, this is... This is going. It is definitely going. To help push across the river. We'll probably come down here. And just tell our guys, just... Yeah, don't worry about casualties gonna lose a couple guys that's okay it's always okay to lose a couple guys here and there no problem uh yeah yeah this is an absolute mess oh, God. and we'll end this basically right now so what I'm thinking right now is I'm probably gonna play this a little bit more so I don't have to you know constantly tell you how we're invading Romania, how close we're getting to Hungary. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play this up until we get to the Romanian capital, probably. And then as, you know, Eisenhower and Douglas MacArthur are continually pushing across the entire front and just try to speed up this campaign just by a little bit. Before we leave, though, before I tell you to leave a like, casualties. We've suffered 13, almost 13 and a half million casualties with our total number of the Treaty of Reciprocal Assistance losing 17 million, while the Axis themselves have lost more than double at 43 million total casualties, with the Germans taking 
22 and a quarter million. Wow. With that in mind, guys, though, thank you very much for uh, watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we capitulate the Romanians, maybe even the Bulgarians, who don't exist in this timeline. I forgot about that. Regardless, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.